Hi everyone, I'm Javi and in this video I will show you how to animate objects in your level sequence so you can animate objects in your map and also in your cinematics. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so I have this map right here and for my cinematic, for the cinematic that I want to make in this tutorial, I want to place a car around here and I want to watch it drive all over this street and then turn around this corner and when the car turns I want to show the camera you know the trees and the sea behind so the object that I want to animate is a car right the first thing that I'm going to be doing is adding a car to the map so we can animate it I will go here to Fortnite and search for a car to see which cars we have that we can use. You can choose any car you like if you're following this tutorial exactly, or if you're working with other objects in your map, you can follow this tutorial as well. In my case, I will be using this car right here. I think it looks pretty cool, pretty classic, and I'm going to drag and drop it here, I think, because I want my car to start maybe around here for the cinematic. So I'm going to press E to rotate it and around 90 degrees there okay now you're going to animate it so i'm going to go back to the main folder i'm going to delete this i'm going to create a folder called cinematics and in this folder i will be creating a new level sequence cinematics level sequence i will call this ls sorry underscore car just so we know is a level sequence with the car I'm going to double click and now we open the sequencer. So if you want to animate an object in the sequencer, you need to add it to the sequencer, right? So here I have this car selected, which is this here in the outliner. So I can drag and drop it here. I can also add here and track actor to sequencer and look for any object that I want to add. I think it's easier just to like click and then drag and drop. Now that we have our object in the sequencer, we can click here on track and add transform. Now that we have the transform property, we can animate it. So the first thing I want to do is to get this car from here to here, right? So I'm going to maybe move the car a little bit here. And now here that we are in zero, zero enter, I'm going to add a keyframe. This is the place that I want my car to start, right? I'm going to move ahead maybe um, three seconds. And at three seconds, I want my car to be maybe like here, just around the corner. So I'm going to be adding another keyframe here. Now if we see what we've created so far is this animation right here going to press the space bar to press play and I like it I don't want the car to start slow so I'm going to right click linear I do want my car to kind of like slow down when it's getting to the corner right here uh, I'm going to be going a little bit further so I can animate the turn so I'm going to put the car a little bit here turn it a little bit like this I'm going to add a keyframe see how it looks it looks a little bit weird but <laughs> I'll go with it uh, and I'm going to be I'm going to go a little bit forward again maybe take the car around here and put it maybe around here I think and add another keyframe so let's see how it looks and now to end let me make the sequence a little bit longer maybe eight seconds so here at the end I want the car to just drive straight here Let's add another keyframe. So let's see how it looks. It's 
So it looks a little bit like it's drifting. I'm going to leave it like that, but you can twitch it, create more keyframes and animate it uh, however you like. And that's practically it. You just animated your object. You can use these sequences to move objects in your map. If you want the player to trigger something and then an object moves, this is the way you do it. In this case, I want to animate this object because I want to make a cinematic. So now I'm going to be adding a camera. So I'm going to click here, create a new camera. And now I want to go back to the start where the, where the car starts. And I want my first shot to be like this because I want to follow the car along. So here is where I want my camera to start. I'm going to be clicking here on transform. And now let's go around here, which is when the car is around that corner. Uh, I want my camera to be maybe like this, like watching the car a little bit further. And now I'm going to press another keyframe. So let's see how it looks. So as you can see, the car goes really, really fast at the beginning. So I'm going to right click and make this keyframe linear. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, it looks way, way better. Since it's linear, it doesn't ease out on the camera movement. So it follows the car better. Let's see one more time. Yeah, I like it. Uh, here in the corner, I want the camera to follow the car again. So I'm going to pan a little bit here. Add another keyframe. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, I like it. And now by the end, I want my camera to go up and show us the sky and the trees. So I'm going to create another keyframe here. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, I like it. For this last frame, I'm going to make it linear again, and I'm going to make it a little bit uh, longer. I'm going to put this keyframe right to the end. And now that I see the C, I see it feels, I see, huh? <laughs> I feel it looks like a little bit empty. So I'm going to add a boat and animate it. So I'm going to click here to stop piloting the camera and I'm going to go back here. If you see here's how, where our shot ends. So I'm going to be putting a boat right here. So I'm going to go to a content browser, Fortnite, and let's look for a boat. I'll choose this one, this red one, uh, drag and drop it. And, uh, I think it looks, it looks too small for my cinematic. So I'm going to scale it up a bit. If you want to scale, you can press R and scale it. If you scale from here, you scale everything, you know, like proportionally. And I'm going to put it looking to the other side. I'm going to move the boat a little bit, maybe around here. And now I'm going to drag the boat and put it here on my level sequence. I'm going to press here on track, transform, so we can animate it. And now I'm going to go back here to my sequence. So let's see how it looks. So right around here, we can see the boat right there. So I want my boat animation to start maybe around here, right? So here, um, let's click here. So around here, I'm going to be creating the first keyframe for the boat. Right click, linear. And as the camera goes up, I want the boat to just move forward. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. And now, and now I'm going to press here for the other keyframe. And uh, I want the movement to go to the end of the cinematic. Yeah, so I'm going to click here, see how it looks.
okay so the boat definitely moves uh, faster than I expected that can be easily fixed so here for the last keyframe I'm not going to have my boat so far away maybe a little bit closer to the beginning now that I moved it I'm going to press here on transform again to change the position so now let's see how it looks yeah looks way better and that's how you animate objects in your level sequence whenever you use a level sequence when the sequence stops the objects that you animated go back to their original position. If you want them to keep their final position, the position they have at the end of the cinematic, you can go, for example, here. If I want my car to keep the last position of the cinematic, I can right click in the transform property, edit section, and here when it says when finished, I'm going to click on keep state. That means that when my cinematic ends, it would leave the car in the last position it was in my sequence instead of restoring the car to its original position you know when the cinematic started if you like this kind of content a like and subscribe would be highly appreciated thank you to everyone that have been watching my tutorials and giving me you know great comments it really means a lot to me i will be uploading many more tutorials i will be uploading two tutorials weekly so in the next few days you will be seeing another tutorial and yeah i'll see you guys in the next tutorial thank you for watching bye bye